Hey everyone, Anger Ice Cube here. Today we are in the Enchanted Lands because we're going to be working on... Where is it? This one right here. Conveniently enough, I have it ready to go. This is the first step. Check that one there. Do you have any others on? Oh yeah, I do. A Mystery Seder is complete. No, it's not. It's not even close to complete. I haven't even started that quest. Whatever, anyhow. Alright, so to pick it up, you go over here in Enchanted Lands. You hear the docks. Just go right over to here where you'll find Lee Lav. And he is a targetable NPC. You can kill him for AA if you so desire. But we don't want to do that because that would be mean. In case someone needs it. Ooh. Haven't done the trace Oh wow, I haven't even really worked on the trace go quest here. Alright, let's do this. So you come over here and you hail him, he'd be all like, blah, 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 help me there, they're trying to kill me, blah, blah, blah. It's a nice little, little uh, reenactment of what happens when you talk to him. Alright. Where are you at? There you are. I met a gnome named Lelav Yekel. He claims he's running from an assassin that tried to kill, who tried to kill him in Freeport. I've agreed to track down this assassin and prevent him from killing Lelav. It's possible the assassin could still be in Freeport. Perhaps still living at an inn. Search the inns in Freeport for the assassin. The one you want is in West Freeport. And that's going to send you to Kinos. So no matter which side you're on, you're going to have to sneak into a city. Freeport, then Kinos. It's not a very long quest. We have to do some stuff in the uh, 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 Crypt of Betrayal, as I recall, and then we'll we'll have to run into uh, Rivervale to spawn a couple of mobs and kill them, and then we have to come back out here and save him from the assassin. Spoilers, we're not going to catch the assassin. We will arrive in the nick of time. Holy crap, it is hot today. We have finally reached the uh, season of the inferno. It's time for California to go up in a poof of smoke like it always does. I can already smell it. Ah, that's so lovely. Uh, see, no, I don't want to do that. I'm just going to walk through the Wait, do I want to walk through the front door? Level 46? Maybe not. Okay, i tell you what. We will go to one of the um, side zones, like the Sprawl. This is my Fury. She's Peppermint. I figure since the Fae were, were flowers that attain sentience, when um, Janara walked by, she's obviously a Peppermint. Yay. And if it would ever load, we'd, we'd take a look at her equipment. Hint, hint, hint. Stupid ass game. Alright, let's take a look. Look, I got a little peppermint sword. Yay. Isn't that cute? What we got going on here? We got a thing. Must pick it up. Sparrow feather. I'll pay him 30% of a kick to the balls. Then we'll see. It wouldn't be the same without a reminder that we at Sony are desperate for money. Please give us money. Another thing I really despise about uh, Sony or Daybreak, if you want to call them that, is the fact that they treat this more like a marketplace first, game second. They, they add game content almost like an afterthought Hey, what can we add to the marketplace today? And that's just stupid. It's a game with a marketplace treated as such. I don't have a problem with having a, a nickel and dime store on here, but seriously, put your focus on the gameplay. Mmm, that's some tasty water. Why am I drinking water? Because it's really fucking hot tonight. Man, don't know what's going on. Well, yeah, actually, that's not true. I know what's going on. I'm suffering from gluten withdrawal because someone suggested that I might actually be um, a sufferer of celiac disease. So I thought, well, why don't I, um, why don't I jump on board the uh, gluten-free train for a couple of days? Because supposedly, if I am a celiac sufferer, going gluten-free will uh, make me feel vastly improved within just a couple of days. Well, no one warned me that there's this thing called gluten withdrawal. Holy crap. The struggle is real. 
Wait a minute. I don't want to be here. I wanted to go to the uh, down below, not the down below, the um, the other thing. Why I hit that button? Because my fingers are all messed up today. But yeah, that, that withdrawal was real. It got so bad yesterday, I was back to the point where I couldn't walk. I couldn't even get up out of this chair. I was so dizzy, I could not open my eyes and focus them on anything past my nose. It wasn't fun. And so I decided, you know what? That's not good. Let's let's cut back on gluten intake. Here it is. Serpent sewer, that's where I wanted to go. Let's cut back on the intake a little bit at a time so I don't just go cold turkey because that was not fun. It was almost like I had gone back in time a couple months to when I was really, really bad. And to be honest, I, I really don't think I, I do have celiacs because... Um, some of the symptoms are there, some of them, but I mean, it's kind of like stomach cancer. One of the symptoms of stomach cancer is heartburn. If you have heartburn, oh, oh you might have stomach cancer. Yeah, or you might have, you know, eaten something that, uh, that your stomach produced too much acid to deal with. Or you could have any, another, any other number of symptoms or conditions with the same symptoms. Is that? Yes, that's what I was looking for. So today I said, all right, we'll, we'll have a little bit. Unfortunately, if if I do need to cut gluten out, I'm kind of hosed because guess what is in almost everything I eat except for Pepsi? Yeah. I'm like, man. That's just sad. Hell, even soy sauce has gluten in it because wheat is often used as a thickener. Hell, it's even sometimes found in toothpaste. What the fuck? Gluten in my toothpaste. That's just, that's just not cool. Am I going the right way? I always get turned around in here. Nope, I'm going exactly the wrong way. So, well, as usual, I got turned around. We got to go to these rooms here. This is where you get to north and west and south and east Freeport. This is basically the um, Freeport version of the down below with diseased Rotonga. Whoop. Whoop. Yep. Whee. Whee. Yeah. So that's been my fun. I didn't even know there was such a thing as gluten withdrawal until I had those, those symptoms. Like, boom. I had just started cutting it out of my diet the previous day, and that morning, I instead of having my oatmeal for breakfast, I had some gluten-free bread with peanut butter. Holy crap, did they, did they binge you over and screw you dry if you're on the gluten-free diet. That loaf of, ah, did I call it a loaf? I'm sorry, that quarter loaf of bread is three times as expensive as a regular loaf of bread. The loaf is half the size of a regular loaf, and the slices are half the size of regular slices. And it's six fucking dollars. A little disappointed in Walmart because it's not listed as six dollars on the shelf. It was listed as two fifty. And I was like, well, you know, usually I'm paying about $1.70, so that's not too bad. Then I get to the register, and it's all $6. I'm like, what the fuck? This is not a simple case of, oh, I just grabbed one that was misplaced. No, no, no. All of the gluten-free bread was in that particular slot, so no. And the day before, I got some gluten-free soy sauce, and sure enough, it was all listed as two forty-nine, which was just about 30 cents more than it normally is. Get to the register, and it was three seventy-nine. I'm like, what the fuck? Wait, did I go to the east? Yeah, that's okay. No, it's not okay. I might get mauled by the guards. Luckily, I have a mercenary who may or may not be able to help me. Watch out. Ooh. Oh, look. It gives me this lovely little quest. It's interesting that it will give you a quest for people who live in Freeport, but yet if you betray and then come back and talk to, like, you know, like if I'm an RSI and I betray and I come back and talk to the RSI mentor, I can't get the RSI racial quest. That's kind of um, backwards, don't you think? Anyways, mercenary, where are we at? Denva Lugi. Lugi? Really? Okay, let's do this. Here, I have a little hill. I do mean 
fucking little because look at those dinky ass little heels. These dinky cute I'm level 46. I'm adorable. Have some regen, my friend. Really tiny regen. I knew a guy in this game who swore by regen. And this was way back when my monk was a tiny monk. And he learned quickly that if you can't survive a hit, regent doesn't do you a damn bit of good. Which is why I always like wards, because wards are basically like extra hit points. It's like, yeah, um, I'm an avoidance tank. That, that means I don't get hit, but when I do get hit, I don't have any mitigation to really back it up. So it hurts. Gotta be careful. You know what, before I go to the end, let's go to the other end so I can get that little quest out of the way. Because you can still do the quest over here. I just have to visit or tour a in room and it will give me some gold and some furniture and yay. But I also gotta be careful because I'm going into the heart of Freeport where the high level guards are more likely to be. And, oh yeah, there's one. Alright, let's do this. Alright, Denva's doing just great. I hereby dub the Denva, Colorado. Ha ha, get it? That's a little Colorado joke. Here, I have another region just in case. Yeah, that's right, Gar. That's what you get. You know your place. Jerk. I hate when the camera gets zoomed in like that because then it's hard to see on the periphery. Uh, okay, that's cool. Sometimes instead of saying generic stuff like that, they'll say, Get the fuck out of Freeport, you loser. I'm paraphrasing, of course, but that's basically what they're saying. See, here we go. Just go here and... Tour! Any, anyone will do. Behold. This is a short heritage quest, so I might as well pad it a little bit, right? Yeah. Check out the three little earth elementals. See? It's like, it's like the various stages of, of uh, human growth. See, here's like the, here's the missing link, and then, and then here's, the, and then there's modern day man, or whatever. One of my characters actually has an interim in Freeport like this. Don't ask me which one, because I do not remember. Let's get the hell out of here. I mean, yeah, as I was saying, I have, I have some of the more ambiguous symptoms of, of potentially being a, uh, a sufferer of celiacs. But others, like uh, one of my um, family members was telling me with, if he ever eats wheat bread, he, he, the brown devil visits him almost immediately. Lugi, can you help me? Thank you. This is going to be a little more serious, Lugi. You can do it. I'll help you out. Yeah, that's right. That's right. put this candy cane sword to good use. Suck it, guard. Taste my fury. Spoilers, I taste like peppermint. Oh, uh, you are no match for the peppermint wonder. Probably should have rolled a warden instead of a fury since I seem to um, favor melee attacks over spells. I've always called a fury basically a wizard with a band aid. It's kind of what, kind of what you are. You're, you're a spell casting healer. Gotta watch out. There is an epic who roams around here. And while Denva has done fine so far, I would prefer not to test my healing abilities. I haven't played this healer in years as evidenced by the level 46. In fact, I think the last time I played her was when I was helping um, Fatal out. Not, not aggro. Fatal's another play on here. I knew her from General Chat. That was back when I actually used to um, visit General Chat more often. Some people hated her, some people loved her. Me, I'm one of those ambivalous people. 
as long as you're not a jerk to me, I'm generally okay with you. But if you start being an asshole, then I'm probably not going to like you. I can say that Catapult, quite frankly, hated her. And she hated the fact that I didn't mind playing with her every now and then. I told you she could be feisty. They did not get along at all. Oh, this is going to be fun. Thanks, Denva. No, no, your fault. My fault for not paying attention to where the hell I was. Damn it. Should have expected that. Okay, we need to get to... Oh, you know what? Should have just gone to West Freeport in the first place, you dumbass. Where am I? Am I by... There's the gate right there. Uh, ooh, I don't know if I can get through the gates, though, because I think there's a level 95 guard on the other side. Or maybe it was on this side. I know there's a level 95 guard somewhere on the West Freeport gate. That's, that's a problem. How big of a problem? Well, you just saw how big of a problem it can be. Because remember, as you go past White Con, they get more, more and more bonuses against you. Yellow is not so bad. Orange is a little more substantial. Red is just not good at all. We, Yes, I'm a crafter, so I've got a crafting griffin. That's why I can't fly as just a fae, because I can't do the quest. I'm not, I'm not level 95 yet. 95 adventurer, mind you. Alright, so where are we going? We're going to the sprawl. And remember, don't go to the ruins. Go to the sewer entrance. And this time, be smart. Go through West Freeport. Don't be stupid. Remember, I'm Although, I suppose I should uh, give myself a little bit of credit. It's not my fault I'm not the brainiest. I'm, I'm a priest. My main stat is wisdom, not intelligence. Although some would argue that going through the wrong way in a hostile city would not be the wisest course of action. And they'd be right. Hmm. We gotta watch her. Their plan cannot fail. Hey look, it's an Agafin. Hey buddy, how's it going? Jerk. Okay, I'm looking for the ladder. Ladder's right here. Now I need to remember that I'm going to go the wrong way. It's inevitable. That's the wrong key, idiot. There we go. Confirm direction. Yes. Alright. It's not inevitable. See, I have defeated my fate. I went the right way. Hmm. I think, right? No, wait, where am I? I am. Yeah, wrong way, dumbass. And my guild thinks I'm mean to them. And in brighter news, I saw. I finally heard from Kiko. He's been doing stuff. Stop me if I get too technical. So I told him he's a punk. Where's Freeport? As I recall, I just need to go to the right. Should be down. Oh wait, you know they changed West Freeport. Yeah, this is going to be the the square with the um, the dreadnoughts fighting and stuff. I haven't done this quest since they changed Freeport. Hello, distracted militia guard. It used to be there were two really big. Oh, here we go. There's the guy right there. There used to be two big ends down there, and he was in this end on the um, the right side here, on, up on the second floor. You talk to him, and he say, nope. He hasn't been here in a long time. Looking for someone? Shouldn't be hard to find in this town. Oh, well, I wouldn't recommend looking like you are now. You're liable to attract attention like my brother did. Yes, that's him. I haven't seen him for a while now. I think the guy who went after him finally managed to off him. Oh, really? That's great. Well, not too much better. 
I, I hope he didn't run off to Chino's. That's where the assassin went to look for Leela. Sure thing. I'm just sorry I didn't nail the guy myself. He was just such a brute. Spoilers, he's a halfling, if I remember correctly. So, now you know. Gnomes are scared of halflings. Okay, let's see. What's a good way to get out of here? I am a druid, so I can make a circle. Hmm. Going to Antonica wouldn't be all that much faster. I'll just go to uh, the moors. To the moors, to the bell, to the docks, to Kinos. I've always loved this picture right here. For reasons I'm not going to go into, but oh my god. Just remember, the people at Sony are obvious perverts. Just look at the Leviathan fight. Who is this? Is that a Tinkerfest one? I think I might have already finished the Tinkerfest collection. Although I'm positive there are a couple characters who haven't. <coughs> hmm. I mentioned that my hiccups have come back. Oops. Yay, hiccups. Okay, now we're going to um, North Kinos, I think. Yeah. so hot today when I got out of the shower I was sweating like I just run a marathon it's like within minutes of getting out of that shower it wasn't pleasant but I think I was also suffering some more of that withdrawal because I had to brush my hair in record time so I could go lie down for a minute that withdrawal was pretty serious Okay, is it down here? Nope. Damn it. Moving too fast. Yeah, here we go. And then we go down here. Isn't there someone to hail down here? Maybe not. Oh, there he is. Yep, couldn't see you, buddy. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Rather brutish chap. He's down in the crypt. So now we have to go to the um, crypt of uh, of um, betrayal. Which, conveniently enough, is just right over here. And guards do patrol up and down there, so keep in mind you gotta keep your eyes open. But it's generally not too dangerous. Unless, of course, you decide to be an idiot like me and just not look, because that's when you're probably going to run right into the epic. Alright. Now we go down to the Vermin Sny. And one more, and we'll be in the crypt. It's one of those um, auto pop encounters. You'll just be running out of the hallway and they'll just pop and attack you. And when you defeat them, you get a note which tells you to go to. Um, where are you going next? I think Windstalker Village. And then. You get attacked one stalker? I don't think you get attacked one stalker. You might. There's another note, and that one will tell you to go to the Thundering Steps on the docks. And again, it'll be another one of those pop attack situations. Are we on the right side? I don't think so. And now, this this actually this music is actually appropriate because we're trying to reach the top of the tower before the girl Maria is sacrificed in a hideous dark right. I'm talking about East, by the way, because that's the music. That's the level, actually. And here we're trying to reach an assassin before he can kill Lelav. So it's kind of the same theme going on right here. Behold, the Crypt of Betrayal. Hey, look, it's another halfling with a knife, and he's going to shank somebody. But he doesn't look murderous. He looks comical. 
he would probably succeed in assassinating me because I wouldn't be taking him seriously. I'd be like, what? So what are you going to do? Are you going to peel my apple? Or he might trip and fall when this guy like slips and he kills himself with this toothpick. Alright, are we on the right side? Because there are two entrances into the Crypt of Betrayal. Is the right one? I think this might be the right one. Blood Savers on this side? Yeah, I think so. And there are going to be Minotaurs up here, right? That's where Torg is? Yeah, okay. So, lots of Minotaurs. We're going to get attacked as we run down this hall. We're coming up on it. Should be just right up, right ahead. I think it's by this one right here. There they are. Level 38 is not too tough. War note. Ooh, a small chest. Yay. Hey, where's that? Where's that one note? Or no? All right. LB. Once you've off this nosy piece of awful, meet me out in Windstalker Village, just inside the tavern. I'll have your payment. LB. Lord British. Lord British is sick of my bullshit. He's like, dude, hurry up and save Britannia, asshole. You've been putting that off for months, and he sent an assassin to kill me. Spoilers. It's not really Lord British. Here, let's make this faster. Windstalker Village, we'll just go to Antonica and go over the hill. What the hell is that thing? I don't know, but it's kind of scary, okay? Looks like something you fight in Bloodborne, actually. Or maybe Dark Souls. Ooh. Yeah, we've already actually met the assassin, by the way. Kind of suspicious that he told us that he was that, that the assassin was down in the crypt, and then we got ambushed, and someone was carrying a note saying to off this um, nosy piece of awful. Spoilers. The guy in the tavern was the assassin. And if you had noticed, his initials were also LB. Was it Lodo Boggins or Lodo Biggins or something like that? LB. Okay, where is the note? There's a note somewhere in here. Do you have to kill someone in here? I don't remember if we had to kill someone in here or if we just picked it up. I think we just picked it up and it ordained when we... Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's one of those guys walk over the step. Kind of dumb because there's really no indication that there's a note there. Alright, do do do. LB, come alone. Docks and thundering steps, and I'll get you your money. Well. Hmm. Hmm. I guess we'll fly it. I don't think it'll make that much of a difference if I just go back to the moors and take the docks. I'll still have to zone twice. Whereas this way, we just gotta fly some direction. So yeah, that's the right way. I guess I could have just looked at the compass, confirm that I was going south, but that would be easy. We don't do things easy around here. If you want proof, look no further than how I entered Freeport the first time. Compare it to how I entered Freeport the second time. Man, I wish these weren't so dry today. It's making my sinuses dry up. I really don't like that. That's where we're going, so let's alter course. There's the rock. You may have gotten the impression from these notes that the assassin is not a nice person. He's an asshole. Y 
you guessed it, we're walking into another ambush. Our so-called payment for killing that uh, nosy piece of offal. Little does the assassin know that we took care of that for him already. fly over to the docks and deal with the next ambush. This one's a little harder than the last one. There are three mobs. I believe it's a level 40. No big deal. And they'll get you just as you walk up the docks, so you gotta be careful. I mean, it's not like right when you step on the docks, but it's pretty close to just as you walk up the steps. I've actually seen new players get killed because they were visiting the Thundering Steps for the first time when someone spawned it and it aggroed them instead of the person that was supposed to aggro. Because it's like right about there. And watch out for these guys because these guys might join in if you AoE. Oops. Behold the power of. Oops. Damn it. Night blood orders. So I mentioned that he was hiding the mask. Well, the night blood or yeah. Uh huh. River Vale. Let's go to River Vale. Where is Enchanted Lands? Right there. Vishnu is no match for my fury. For my fury is a sweet and delicious thing. Like I said, this Heritage Quest kind of doesn't make a lick of sense because why do they need the um, the guys to deceive her when they can just possess our bodies anyways? It's kind of like... It would kind of like me going on a quest to find a healer. Okay, as you may have guessed, the Riverville portion is a little more substantial than the rest because lots and lots of heroics out here. Thanks, buddy. Keep up with me. Okay, I gotta remember where... You gotta go into a couple of buildings here. Is it this one over here? Well, let's just walk over there and check. Probably easier than trying to read a map. Especially with my eyesight. I don't think this is actually... No, it doesn't look like it. I knew this was an ambush for a quest. I wasn't sure if it was for the quest we're on. It doesn't appear to be. Okay, then it must be the one over here. As I said, it's been years since I've done this quest. I'd say I remember it fairly well for as long as it's been. But, oh. Mangler, I remember when you were epic. This guy used to be an epic. Seriously, Nymph? You wish to test nature's fury? Ooh, exquisite chest. Awestruck, oh, who's that? Templar. Well, I do have a Templar. 
We're just waiting for Dazzle to go away. Come on, Dazzle, go away. Yay, have some have some lovely regeneration. Alright, okay, the one we need to go to is that one over there. This building. I think it's even to this door here. I could be wrong. Uh, to I think it was. Oh, more adventures of Jorbo Mappy. Yay, I love book quests. They're so enthralling. Killing the same, like, three mobs over and over and over again. Here we are. The ambush that we were promised. Oh, you want, you want some? Uh, quickly written letter. What does it say? Found the gnome who had the mask. All right. Join me where the halflings make their stand. Uh, who cares where they make their stand? He found the gnome, so let's go find the gnome. We already know where the gnome is because that's where we started. Quick, we have to save him. Watch, watch out, yucky monsters. I will save you, Dinwa. Have a cure. Have another cure. Taste my curing fury. More cures. Holy crap, dude. You're just pulling everything on you, aren't you? And you're going to start swinging. You have another cure. Please stop getting poisoned. Focus fire, you should know that. Fucking noob mercenary. But hey, on the plus side, you make all my Fallout companions look smart by comparison, so hey, keep it up. Seriously, they're, they're fucking stupid. They like to stick their ass on your gun and stay there. And they don't react to getting attacked very often. I think we're not alone, she says, as the uh, minigun-wielding assault bot comes around the corner and keeps hosing her in the head. But it's cool, because I took care of it. I played EQ2. I know how to handle stupid companions. Alright, here we go. The final battle. Let us protect Lee Lab so he can tell us about a mask that we really shouldn't care about at this point because we've gone past that point. I still don't know what the hell they were thinking. Do this level 40 question. We'll tell you about a level 35. I mean, I suppose if you can do a level 40 quest, then you've proven that you can handle the level 35. So it makes sense kind of in that regard. Lee Lab, you're in danger. Why? Here we go. There he is, Lodo Biggin. Not an enemy. But I targeted him. Guess I didn't. Well, if he wasn't before, he is now. Go get him. Go, Dinwa. Show him. Show him the power of the Sarnak. 
Yeah, Lee Lab, you just jump in there and show them how it's done. Idiot. Keep in mind, he can still be killed here, so some asshole could run up and kill him before I hail him, and that would suck, but he respawns, obviously. Because remember, he is worth AA. Obviously, I've killed him, no star, because I'm an asshole, too. Alright, what mask? I don't know what you're talking about. The mask is bad. It mustn't fall into their hands. Why not? With its power, they could easily slip through the guards and infiltrate Freeport, but they can already change forms. Huh. See, I mean, this this whole thing is just so, so contrived and arbitrary and just clearly stupid as fuck. Well, I'm not sure, Persis. Er, it's magic. Oh, fuck you, Sony. You guys are stupid. Don't try to be clever. You don't have a gift for it. Alright. I hid it. I hid it away in one of the crates in the storage room. You should be able to find it there. See, he tells you where to find it. And I can get a bone club or the bone dirt. Now, this was supposed to be for the bone dirt, but then they added a club. But since I'm not going to use it... Wait, let's look at the club. I'm using my crafting weapon. I am an idiot. I'm going to get the club. Nope, screw it. Dirk it is. And as with all heritage weapons, well not all of them, at some point they decided to stop giving you the items that you can turn into house items. Boosh. There it is. Now it's a house item. Strangely enough, it doesn't look like it's made out of bone at all. It looks like it's made out of rusted metal. Pretty sure bones don't rust. But whatever. Sony has proven they are nothing if not fucking inept. It's not to say that they don't do things right. Sometimes they do, but when they do things wrong, they do things wrong with a vengeance. So there you have it, everyone. That was the serrated bone dirk. And that was that was that was Denver, Colorado. Hey Denver, thanks. Have a have a heal. There you go. Now get the fuck out of my sight. You disgust me. Here we go. Well, thanks for watching. I will catch you guys next time. And hopefully I will have kicked this horrible, horrible withdrawal. I mean, seriously, this withdrawal is just awful. You would not have wanted to experience what I experienced yesterday. Uh, like I said, I was just so dizzy. I could not open my eyes. Every time I tried, I thought I was just going to puke all over my desk. Stabbing pain in my eyeballs. When it finally faded, I was just barely able to get up and get a glass of water. And I did a quick internet search because I was like, what the hell just happened? I cut gluten on my diet. hasn't even been a full day yet. And holy crap. And then I found out that there's this thing called withdrawal. I didn't know there was a thing called gluten withdrawal. Because everyone's always talking about, oh, you should cut out your diet. You'll feel so much better. Blah. Uh, again, I was talking to a, a family member. And he said, yeah. And didn't make him feel all that much better. He had horrible, horrible days. And then finally... He found out that he wasn't he needed he doesn't even have celiac, so he just said, Screw it. Went back and said, you know what? I started eating weed again and it didn't really do anything to me. That being said, if you do have celiacs or if you suspect, see a doctor and confirm it. Because having other people give you some of that um some of their so called expert medical advice can be exceedingly dangerous. I saw a person suggest to a diabetic that they should eat nothing but fruit from now on. That will be fatal. And when someone called them on it, they just started throwing medical buzzwords around like they knew what they were talking about. It's like, you seriously don't know what diabetes is. You need to just shut the fuck up or go chew on a bullet because you're trying to kill someone. What's worse, you're trying to kill someone who's pregnant. It's like, oh yeah, that's just, this is awful. So long story short, if you don't know what the fuck's wrong with someone, don't give them medical advice. You're probably going to hurt them more than you're going to help them. So, peace out, everyone. I will see you next time. Don't know where, don't know when. Well, actually, it'll probably be Sunday. So, um, it'll be somewhere. Look forward to it. Laters.